unstructured documents contain information that is not structured in any predictable way. They usually contain text paragraphs of varying lengths. Examples of unstructured documents include contracts, scientific articles, and emails. To create skills for unstructured documents, we use Advanced Designer. Here are some of the best practices for marking up unstructured documents. As with semi-structured documents and fixed forms, you should make sure to accurately specify the region of each field. Of course, accurate markup is always very important. Use the clicking method to mark up field regions. If a field contains no value, create the field but do not create a corresponding region. Sometimes a targeted word can be followed by an unneeded punctuation mark. The best practice would be to adjust the region so that it does not include the punctuation mark. For unstructured documents, we often use segments. Segments are fields trained in the segmentation activity. When you mark up segments, make sure that their regions include one or more whole paragraphs. A segment can never consist of only part of a paragraph. Do not mark up parts of words. Again, the program can only learn from whole words. Sometimes a field region may spill over to the next page. In this case, we can mark up the first part of the field on the first page, then hold shift and either use the clicking or the rubber banding method to capture the second part on the next page. You might need to create a region for a field inside the region of another field. For example, to mark up a name found inside a paragraph. To do so, first click inside the empty name field, then mark it up on the image inside of the paragraph region. This will help you avoid inadvertently selecting the existing paragraph region when trying to mark up the name field. You've just seen some of the best practices for marking up documents in Vantage. Following these simple tips will help you get the most effective extraction results for your Abbey Vantage document skills.